You drive a car at a speed of 60 miles per hour. The smartphone app isn't just talking at you like Siri would. It's translating words from a textbook okay. to speech. Proponents believe that judges should consistently follow. It was pretty exciting. Um, finally doing something with my life. That was Coeur High School student Morgan Dixon telling us last year about the app he helped create. It's called the Out Loud Reader, and it allows a user to take a photo of text on their phone and then have that text read to them. Over a year later, Morgan's Out Loud Reader and the purpose behind it is kind of snowballed. And from there it evolved and we decided to just make it a nonprofit itself. Morgan took the app to another local school district for students to use, but he then realized that the district didn't have iPads or other devices to use the app on. So he helped start the Imagination Initiative, an active Idaho nonprofit that looks to collect used devices and redistribute them to students. And the current coronavirus pandemic has shown a clear need for technology at students' homes. There are kids at home now who don't have iPads or laptops or a way to connect to the education system. So this is like the exact reason why this is being created. That is the positive news. But speaking of coronavirus, the pandemic has made planning for next year hard for Morgan. He had hoped to go to community college in Walla Walla in an effort to live outside of North Idaho for a little bit. But he worries a potential coronavirus resurgence could force classes online and make him move back home. It stresses me out a little bit. Uh, so far, it hasn't been too bad, but trying to figure out my plans for next year is really uh, throwing a bolt in my plans. Morgan hopes to eventually attend the University of Idaho's Coeur d'Alene Extension and study computer science. His dreams remain the same, but not being able to have a prom or a senior send-off party like every senior who has graduated before him has been unfortunately different. I feel like it just isn't the end because we don't have like a celebration that we deserve. It's, it's really strange for sure to not be able to see everybody and probably not see them again, most likely. As for this summer, Morgan said he plans to hike and do other outdoor activities that will allow social distancing. From those of us here at CREM, we wish Morgan and his classmates all the best. In North Idaho, Taylor Vido, CREM 2 News.